In today's news, in the words of Chad Stein rapper Swift, will become Kodak. Effectively, they'll still be around, but just another transfer service. So in Chad's words, he suspects, he predicts, that Swift will just become irrelevant. Why? Because QR code based transfers are the future. Two way messaging systems are the future. Ripple with XRP are the future. In this post, these sort of developments are happening worldwide all across the globe. Right now in Japan, the integration project is being fast tracked by the Cashless Promotion Council which is tasked with creating a unified payment mechanism that bridges both domestic and international QR code services. This is a very, very big deal. And this system is anticipated to be operational by 2024 this year, a year ahead of the official launch of the integrated payment scheme. And these sort of developments will make Swift obsolete, irrelevant, and is also possible thanks to Ripple's partnership of Trelango and SBI Holding, which is proof that Ripple will take over Swift to become the new global messaging system. XRP will be the premier settlement asset across Asia, East to West, all across the globe. And in this regard, we actually have a very, very huge interview here from Ali G Compliance of 24 Hours Crypto. We have the Ripple CEO, Brad Garninghouse, talking and debating with Swift CEO, Godfrey Liebrand. Listen very closely. Because of the fact that you don't have the deep liquidity that you have in, for example, the dollar as a clearing, uh, as a clearing unit uh, at the end of the day. Um, so again, when we engage, engage banks, they, we don't find them ready for a model where you convert it into crypto and then convert it back. And that has to do with many things, regulation, volatility, and all, all the things that are, that are being so that, debated around crypto. But that's a whole separate debate. This is, well, it's not really a separate debate because I think there's two important things about this. And Gottfried mentioned this earlier. Swift today is a one-way message messaging framework. It, it actually isn't a liquidity provider, right? It's Swift messaging partnered with bank liquidity. When we think about an internet of value, it's a mixture of two-way messaging frameworks, you know, moving to real-time, a, a chatty protocol, if you will, coupled with real-time liquidity. It, you know, well, volatility is just a mathematical calculation of time times volatility. If you hold fiat for, let's say, an average Swift transaction today is in the order of magnitude two days, that's about 180,000 seconds. An XRP transaction is three seconds. So if you take a low volatile asset times a long duration, fiat, or a high volatility asset versus a very, very short amount of time, it turns out mathematically there's less volatility risk in an XRP transaction than there is in a fiat transaction. Now, this ends up being quite a reoccurring theme in this debate. Swift challenging Ripple and also being a bit of a smart ass, only to be shut down time and time again by Brad Garninghouse. It's quite evident that Godfrey Liebrandt, the CEO of Swift, hates Ripple. You can just tell, which is even why they banned them from the Cybos Convention. In 2016, it was held in Singapore. And so uh, we had some of our people there as well. And all the, all the crowds were at Ripple in uh -huh. Cybos. And so Swift was looking at this going, what the hell? But the following year... And that's why we regulate the financial industry. That's why we have central banks. That's why we have lenders of, uh, of last resorts. That's why we have the SEC on securities uh, to make sure that securities offerings are true to value. They say what they do, etc. None of that exists in the, in the crypto world. And I think that is None an issue. of that exists I, in the crypto world. I think that's an issue. None of that exists in the in the crypto world, and I think that is none an issue. of that exists I, in the crypto world. I think that's an issue. I, well, I, I don't know how we can say none of that exists in the crypto, crypto world. Every I, well, I, I don't know how we can say none of that exists in the crypto, crypto world. Every I, well, I, I don't know how we can say none of that exists in the crypto, crypto world. Every Ripple transaction is going through a regulated endpoint to a regulated endpoint. And this here, this screen right here, sums it up perfectly. That Brad Garningoff had the look of someone who knows exactly how this will play out. He knows inevitably that regulations are coming to crypto, regulations are coming to Ripple and XRP, and once this happens, once Ripple takes over and replaces Swift, XRP's value will soar to the moon.